Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Scrapping Nerd, and I'm back today with a layout for Scrap Lift Crafter Noon, and it's where every Sunday a bunch of my uh, crafty peeps and I get together and we scrap lift an amazing layout. And this week's layout is from Gloria, who is on the Simple Stories uh, design team. And so today I'm going to do a Disney layout, and I really liked her layout how it had the bunch of the squares kind of creating a um a border and so I pulled in my simple stories say cheese collection because it had these uh two by two squares on the paper as well as the tickets and so I thought I could use those to cut out and put and make a border and then I thought her layout was also had a mat behind it so I started with this yellow star paper as my background and I'm going to gut it so that I can save he the piece in the middle I thought I might use that as a photo mat but I actually go a different route but I'll have that and put it in the scrap part of the collection and do something when I uh, use scraps so it'll work good but I I'm getting that gutted and I also you saw I pulled in I have the um, stickers I have the sticker book and then I have the puffy stickers and so I got this collection at Tuesday morning when they were still around I'm so sad but um and so I just bought all of the things they had that were of this collection and there's so many and uh I don't know why I have so much Disney ephemera and papers like I go to Disney all the time but um I uh I just really liked this uh collection to go with her layout idea so I pulled in the polka dot page uh, 12 by 12 as my kind of main paper but you know I'm gonna cover up a lot of it with the squares because I started doing just a border like Gloria had but then of course it it uh, evolved and it just became everything everywhere which I love very much as you know but I wanted to make sure that my photo stood out so I used this black and white polka dot as a photo mat and then I just grabbed a piece of white sparkly paper that I had in my scrap bin to double mat my photo and so I am going to do the white and then I'm going to do the black and you saw that I pulled in some scissors that have like the postage stamp uh, edge, like a jagged edge. In Gloria's layout, her squares had that kind of jagged edge around them. And so I was inspired by that to use these scissors that I have that I think I rarely use. But I am going to use that to cut the black polka dot paper around my photo mat so that because I am going to do it also on all of my squares and so I did a close-up here of me using these scissors and you just have to kind of try your best to cut in a straight line and then line up the previous jagged edge with when you go forward so that it stays kind of in sequence and you don't accidentally cut something you've already cut in half or something so, and they're, I don't know, these scissors, EK Tools is where they're from, and I have a bunch of different edges, and I don't remember if I bought these, or if I, well, I mean, I bought them, but, like, <laughs> if I bought them new, or if I found them at, like, a, a thrift store or something, but, because, like I said, I have them, and I don't use them, but how many times can I say that, which is sad, I'm just a craft hoarder, but, Anyways, this is where I took the twelve or the two by two squares from that paper and I cut them all out and then I will go through with my scissors and create the postage stamp edge to a bunch of them. And so I'm going to go through with the two by two squares first and then I pulled in that um, paper that had a bunch of the tickets and I'm going to use those as well. And I'm going to use this to kind of create my base for my layout uh, border, um, which was inspired by Gloria's layout. And then uh, when I start adding the stickers and the puffy stickers, it 
goes off the rails from there. But here I'm starting out like she did, very cute little border around the edge. And this is a picture of my husband and I. And we're on Main Street. And it's a night photo, and I have a hard time with night photos. I like this photo because you can see the Main Street behind us is all lit up with lights. It's funny, when you look really close, you can see the billions of people that are on Main Street. And it's just crazy when you think about all those people and the that one place. But um, I like that you can see the lights of Main Street. And so I'm scrapbooking it. It's... I. I thought that it would be a good photo with this kind of layout because the layout's so bright and colorful and cheerful that it will help this dark photo not seem so dark. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, a fun photo. And I am still working on those squares. This is mostly my layout. I will cut out a chunk of it because you know me. I'm going to cut them and then I'm going to move them around a thousand times, and you guys don't have time for that. So I uh, uh, cut away to where I did most of the squares here, and then you can see I have a couple extra, but I'm going to start to kind of go through some, some of the stickers that I have. And the sticker book is these thin stickers, and I they don't stick well. So I don't show in here. I use some, like, little... Um, adhesive squares that I had but then I went back through after the video and I glued everything down because the stickers especially they just don't stick and I don't know what it is it's like they're paper thin stickers from that sticker book and it's simple stories and I've never had problems with simple story stickers but they don't feel like uh, the regular kind of thick stickers and so I'm not sure if this was just a uh, some I haven't seen one of these before, so I'm not really sure what this is. But yeah, like I said, it's really thin paper stickers, and it doesn't stick very well. So I always have to add some glue, but um, I, I do that off camera. And so I'm filling all these little holes in, and Gloria's layout was beautiful. She had a bunch of uh, embellishment clusters around her photo, and so I didn't really do many things around my photo since I made the kind of border so busy. I do put a bunch of the puffy stickers. Like here I have the main street and then the fireworks and the little arrows with the heart. And I put some um, puffy stickers throughout the border as well. And then this says main street memories. But that's pretty much the layout guys is just stickers and uh, cutting the border. So I want to thank everyone who's liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit those buttons below. I would love to have you. Um, and I do my best to answer all comments and questions. I just really love interacting with you guys. Make sure that you check out all of my crafty peeps so that you can see how they interpreted Gloria's layout today and scrap lifted her. All of their information is going to be below in the description box, as well as the information for Gloria. And go visit her, give her some love. She does beautiful things. And uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye!